Welcome to video number six on customization of a Swan T1248. We have already smoothed this top surface of the comb. Doesn't it look beautiful? It's perfectly flat. And then, even harder, we smoothed the underside of the mouthpiece. And we did that by using two-way tape and putting a, uh, the back of a comb on it so we could apply even pressure and sand it on flat glass. And now it's time to put this heart back together again. And I thought, even though a lot of people probably know how to do this, some of you don't. So I'm going to show you. This is uh, the slide oil I use. It's Hetman's um, Light Bearing Linkage Lubricant 13. It's one of the finest synthetic oils used for uh, parts on saxophones that, 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 that articulate and move. And um, then I have a little teeny rag here. I have my screwdrivers and this, my uh, little set of little pliers. So let's go ahead and go ahead and put this together. I have all my parts, as you know, in a dish so they don't get lost. And um, what I want to do first is I want to put that slide back in. Okay, and don't forget that when you put a slide in, the spring works in this direction. So what you do is you feed it in here, and a lot of people don't know really how to do this. And what you do, I'm going to take needle pliers here, and I'm going to grab that little part of the slide, and I'm going to bend it in, and then loop this thing right over the peg hole. There is a peg hole here on a slide, this, this thing right here, and this round part of the spring goes over it. So if you don't know how to do this, you just take, and you see I put this slide through there, then I come here. Now you can't do this by hand, and if you try, you could end up scratching your, uh, your heart pretty good. So I just grab a hold of this, and this is uh, something that can be dangerous. If a spring lets loose, it could hit your eye, so I wear safety glasses whenever I'm working with loaded springs. I bring it here and bring it right over that part and that is the correct position for a slide. Now the heart's not together yet so the safety devices stay on. Okay, now I marked the uh, the two reed plates as one and two. Well one okay, when go, one goes on the top and two goes on the bottom. So this is how those go. See how easy it is when you mark them? And they just drop into place. Okay, very good. And now I want to get just a couple of screws in quick so that, uh, you know, they're not wiggling around too much. I'm going to take one of the, the bigger screws here and just bring the center one in and very gently get it started into the... Um, the lower reed plate, and this is a good time just to inspect. Now the glasses can come off because the reeds, the, the spring is enclosed. You just take a look around. Is that thing on there, is, is it buggered up in any way, or is everything cool? It looks cool. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the, the there are small uh, little screws and big ones, and what I normally do is I'll just drop them right into the holes where they belong one after the other and uh, so they're all ready to get put in properly and I try to separate out the little smaller ones so they're separate because there's three in the front that are smaller and the rest of ones are big and um, so here's what the harp looks like with all the big ones in and then I usually take it in my hand or if I'm going to do it down here uh, like this, by the way that was the wrong size uh, wrong size one here, I'm looking for a, a little fatter one let's see, it's, uh, it's this one okay so I had one of the screws was the big one not the small one. Now when I go to do this, let me see if I can get you any closer here I think I can I'm lucky. No, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I can't. Well, I'm just going to take, I always come in and one, two, three. I had two of them that were in wrong that were uh, ones that were the bigger ones. 
Now, when I go to put these in, I, I stabilize it with my thumb, and I come here and turn it until it clicks, and that way I'm not going to strip anything. I'm very gently, not tight, I'm just getting these snug. I back up left, and then come down. Why? There's no way I can strip this, this whatever this compound is on this, and I'm not really tightening them, I'm just snugging them. Okay, I'll tighten when I'm all done. Now you just start turning screws on a reed plate, one out of 150, you might strip, you might strip. It's just being careful, being careful. So I come here, twist to the left until I hear a click. That's when the thread is clearing the slot. I don't press hard. Right there, hear it, there's my click. And I come in, and now all the big ones are in place. Again, inspect. Does everything look normal? Are the big reeds at the left side where they should be? Everything is totally cool. One more peek at that beautiful comb uh, face. It's just totally smooth. All right, now I want to put in the smaller screws at the front. There's three of them. One, two, three. Now you know what I'm going to do next, don't you? I'm going to put the screwdriver in. And these are smaller, but they do work with this screwdriver. I come in, there's my click, I come in, they're not real tight, just little snuggies. Come here, back up, here are the click. Okay, and then I come here, and uh, now all that remains to be done, one more inspection. Is everything cool? Is everything laying against the, the, the um, comb as it should? every piece of metal lined up. A good workman checks things several times, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna actually start tightening these and I'm gonna bring the camera around so you can see me while I actually do this. Um, let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. And I'm gonna start with the, uh, the larger ones here and I'm just gonna give them a little bit more tightness, not a lot. I don't really tighten these up real hard. They don't need to be tightened up real hard. And if you start tightening them up real hard, they're going to strip. And if they strip, you got a problem because you probably don't have the gear to unstrip them. So uh, what you have to do at that point is you have to get a little bit bigger screw and tap it, which I don't want to do. So I'm very careful and I don't go very tight. Just gentle little twists, turns here. And there we come here. And we come here. And we come here. Now I'm ready for the final tighten. Okay, so I'm going to come here at the front and just say, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I work from the center. You'll see I'm still stabilizing with my fingers. I'm not going very tight, just a teeny little bit. Right like that. Right like this. And right like this. Okay, everything's cool. Now I'm going to bring you back over for final reconstruct of the unit, and we will be done. And then we'll go test it. Okay. So, the next job I want to do is I want to get these covers on. The top one is the one with the numbers. I just lay it right against it like that. And I take this on this one and lay it like this. Pick up the instrument, line up the holes. Easy enough, not too much of a problem, huh? Okay, and get them kind of lined up, and then I put the the bigger little kind of right in here. Didn't line up that time. Let's try it again. There we go. Having trouble, so I'm going to do one at a time. There we go. The reason it was tough is they're very, very tight. I lay this one on again, like this, line them up. I take this screw hole. This is a very small screwdriver hole again. Then I let this lower one drop a little bit so I can catch it. That caught it. In other words, I'll explain that to you again. I put in the lower one, hold it with my finger, flip it around, come at the top. Now a lot of times this top one won't mate in and what you can do is drop down the lower one a little with your finger, but this particular time uh, they did grab. 
Okay, then you push down on the covers on both sides and you're ready for your final tighten, okay? Like that. Don't do this too tight either. There's no reason to. You just want them pretty snug. No big deal. Okay, now, what do we do from here? Let's construct the heart. Now we get rid of the, the board. I'm okay. I'm going to make another video. I'm going to have to go with another one. I'm out of time.